first thing we would talk about here with Finland is what are they good at? Like what makes Finland special? And anybody who's ever watched Finnish hockey knows that this is a country uh, that prides themselves on being relentless. They actually have a word for it inside their culture called Sisu, which is about enduring and just going and going and going. And that drives even the way they play hockey. So when we look at this first clip, this isn't really part of their systems. But we want our team to be on their toes right off the bat. Cass and I were saying, what, what do we need our team to know about Finland? The first thing we want to talk about is how relentless they are, how they don't give up on pucks, how they're at first touch situations all the time. They are relentless. They are dogged. We want our players to be watching this clip and understanding that they don't have time and space with the puck. That the Finns are going to stay on this, and we have to make quick decisions if we ultimately want to have success in this game. So when we're looking at these clips, we're going to work uh, from the opponent's end out. So this would be Finland. This is a Finnish D-zone face-off win. And when we look at a Finnish D-zone face-off win, we want to see what their, their, their ideal plan would be. So in this circumstance, we're going to see them coming out the weak side. And we would want to talk about what we would do to thwart this plan, to stop them, and to make them uncomfortable. Yeah, you look at that and you see left-handed D, and that's a, a theme throughout this team. I think they only have one, maybe two right-handed D. So we'd want to be sure that as we challenge on this face-off, we do everything that we can to keep them on the other side of the ice so they can go up their backhand side. But even with that, you know, Switzerland does a really good job here being able to challenge on the wall and come back through the middle of the ice. Yeah, we, we and just like Cass was saying, we, we looked at this clip because they had so many of these D-zone face-off wins from their D-zone right side. And they didn't come back up their strong side. So our plan would be said, we're going to attack these guys because we would actually want to uh, push them towards their strong side. So ideally, get on the inside of this defenseman trying to get around back behind the net and try to push her back up into the strong side if we could. 